Y'all have grapefruit juice? Yeah, we have uh, a um, lot in the The black can is the is the seltzer, but this is the oat milk latte. Yeah. Oat milk? I was thinking Liquid Death should have a... They should do like hard Liquid Death uh-huh. that has like liquor in it, so you can trick your friends into thinking you're still sober. But it's a great trick. You like that? Yeah. It's like the old fentanyl prank. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fentanyl in the hood prank. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stepping on Jordans. Uh, I really love that trick. <laughs> where you, you try to make the only reason you're sober is so other people think you're sober. That's what I do of, things for, is for yeah. other people's uh, approval. I nice. feel like... Is that what that haircut's for? <laughs> uh, I'm haircut boy, James. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the guy uh, that did it said I was very handsome, mm. but he was oh. European, so who fucking cares what he I had a, I had a dentist tell me I had real nice teeth one time, so oh, yeah. looks like everyone's a fucking liar. That's what, <laughs> um, that's what I got from that. I didn't know you also went to Helen Keller Dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty... <laughs> Helen Keller dentistry. <laughs> I've been there once. And then I, I walked in, I said, something's weird about this place. And, and, she, and she said, uh. There's no lights <laughs> yeah. on it That's here. That's how she sounds. That is how she sa- yeah, and <laughs> also for your teeth to get fixed, you need a miracle worker. <laughs> yeah, you need to go to a... a that one should have done better. An no. angel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that I've been having teeth nightmares like nightmares about my teeth falling out my teeth chipping yeah my bottom teeth are really twisted and i've um i feel like it's like a a church graveyard down there (laughs) like an old (laughs) graveyard like and if i go down there to try to do something i imagine someone's gonna like pop out from one of the teeth and just be like no one's been down here for a hundred years and yeah. just like kind of fall back into my throat. You got kids playing hide and seek down there. <laughs> it does feel like there's some sort of ritual that's like you can't, you don't want to disturb anything. Yeah, but sometimes you have to go, like that's where they keep the seven ups. So you got to go down there and <laughs> get them. Yeah, but sometimes I'm just like, forget it. I think I might go to Mexico City and get some bottom braces for like $5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to my to, to the day I get my passport so I can do all my medical procedures. Do you not have your passport? No. Are you six? No. Have you ever been out of the country? Yes. Okay, so you just left without it. No, it expired. Oh, oh okay. that's fine. That's fine. Jeez, yeah. God, thank God. I'm cultured, dude. We thought we were talking to a poor person. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> nice. I've been to Niagara Falls, dude. It's is that it. is that in Canada? It is both in Canada and in Buffalo. Yeah, it is. You can do it from both sides. You know what sucks? The Buffalo view sucks way worse. Like the Canada one is like hype. So yeah, you, you get there, and there's a bunch of French people like, oh, it's so beautiful, but they're on their side. So. Yeah, it's another perk for free health care. You get yeah. a better view. Health care. So Shout out to that guy. Are you? Um, so I think I'm having ni- nightmares about my teeth because we're, we're in the adoption process, my yes. wife and I. And for a um, dog? Or? Yeah, we're a dog. We're trying nice. to adopt a dog, and we're like ugh, going through all the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. Well, in China, they only let them have – one lady dog i heard so right and then you can only have them for a year then you have to eat her yeah (laughs) (laughs) i'll say this much you think farm to table wait till it's farm to snuggle to table (laughs) we'll be like we'll look for a goat we'll bring that goat home name him name him do yoga with it best friends now do a cuddle and then eat that goat do a marinade Mm. (laughs) do a marinade (laughs) i think that's a new concept restaurant farm To cuddle to table. I love it. I'm into it. Okay. Uh, by the way, real quick, welcome back. Episode something of Digital Bazooka. Mm-hmm. We, did this, it, we did this once before and we lost it. My fault. It's the real tenth one. This is the this is the one. My name's Goat Stevens. Uh, this is... Uh, My name's uh, LGTV. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks, thank you for being here. Yo, so you know, last night we went to Xfinity and uh, we rode Mechanical Bulls. Oh. We also uh, entered a contest <laughs> to win a LG TV, 70 inches in variety. Mm. Uh, both me and Drew got called to the <laughs> stage in a packed Xfinity Live bar. Uh, he won <laughs> the 70-inch TV, and I won $100 cash. I won the TV, and I screamed into the guy's <laughs> microphone, everyone suck my dick, <laughs> and then I chest-bumped James so hard. 
I was so hyped. And then I realized That's amazing. my old boss that fired me a few months ago was in there. And I was like, yeah, he probably understands why he did that now. <laughs> I screamed into a microphone, everyone can suck my dick because I want a television. Oh, you should text him and be like, hey, where are you watching the fights tonight? <laughs> <laughs> also, a 70-inch television, LG, isn't that like 50 bucks? Am I on? I think it's seven hundred bucks. Is it? Yeah, I'm about to sell it. I think. Dude, hell's yeah! It's probably stolen. I hope so. It's yeah. What were you doing down there? Was there was there Just, basketball? We were watching a cover band open for a different cover band. So Bobby Cruz, uh, R slash the Cruz, his his boy plays in a cover. So we showed up and they were like doing like Mr. Brightside and like Macklemore. Okay, it wasn't like a one kind of band cover band. No. It was like Dude, a the, genre. Yes. The guy, the guy that was singing, he like he came over to us after he's like he's like, "Yo, what song was it that you just looked at Rob and shook your head and like mouthed to him, this sucks?" <laughs> 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 He fucking got you, dude. Yeah, I was like, my bad for that, dude. They did do Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. Oh, that's cool. No, it sucked, dude. Oh. It was Stevie Nicks followed by Super Bass. And I was like, go back to the fucking Stevie Nicks. Yeah, dude. let's hear some Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. I want to see a coked up version of Stevie Nicks. Yeah. yeah. Running around the stage. You can go your own way. I would have loved it. Yeah. Uh, what was the song? Was it Super Bass? Super Bass. Super Bass like was bad. Was I looked over to Rob and I was like, this stinks. And somehow the guy saw me say it to Yeah, the him. lead singer that was trying to have sex with every girl in there came oh up afterwards God. and was like, Rob, you were dancing? Drew was like, this ain't the one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't I'm it, Like, you bro. saw that? Was he trying to have sex with you guys? Does he go both ways? He definitely had, like, bisexual energy. You can go both ways. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how you doing? Um, I was there last weekend. And my daughter and I were doing some shopping, and we purchased what we thought was a vase, some sort of vase. And when we got home, she knocked it over, and it appears to be ashes, some sort of, like, cremation urn. Oh. Did you buy it outside or inside? We were inside. Okay. And we're... So I'm looking for the receipt. I'll say this: I'm, I'm very concerned. Um, yeah. I don't. I'm concerned. I'm a bit sad, and I don't know what to do. I'm. I think this is. Uh, I'm hoping it's not human remains or. I. It's. It was pretty small, but my. My daughter was there, and our dog was there. And our dog started kind of, like getting into it like jumping into the ashes um i just don't know what to do i don't know what to tell my kid i don't know what to do do i do i vacuum it up do i bring it back in uh i would say to vacuum it up i don't i don't know that's golly that's just a tough call that's weird oh my gosh it's such a yeah. tough call uh, i'll say this i'm has this ever happened before? No. Uh, oh. Which uh, which booth did you buy it from? Okay, so that's the thing. I didn't have. So it was like the second one in from the corner. Is there like a food stall or something? I don't remember the name of it. Right. There... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there well, someone? Do you have like a a priest or a pastor or someone that I feel like we should. So I feel like I should try. I did not vacuum anything up. It's on the floor. I'm keeping my dog from it. My daughter wanted to know what it was, and I just said it was from cheese. Like, I didn't know what to say. I got so nervous. Golly. I said it was from cheese. What do I say to my kid? Uh, yeah, I... Our father, who are in heaven. You know, yeah, I mean, part of me says... That it should be scraped up and put in something, and then okay. clean up whatever's left. Okay, and, and then, then I bring it back. Me, and then another part of me tells me that, yeah. Uh, wow. Sir, do you do you have? Okay. All right. So it's a it's a it looks like something you would put flowers in. So it's that tall, but it's not enough ashes in there to make sense. Like, is there a way that this is? It could just be stuff from shipping. Uh, oh no, no, this no, is. 
Yeah, this is a lot of ashes. Right. Huh. And well, I really can't see I don't know. selling an urn and not knowing it. That's just weird. So accidents, you could, yeah. yeah. Can I ask you something? What should I, okay, at this point, oh, man. What do I say to my daughter? Mm. Do you have kids, uh, sir? Yeah, I have a 16-year-old. 16? Uh, yeah. Maybe okay. I'm tell them they must have used it for an ashtray. I don't know. That's just a weird thing. I've never. That's, that, yeah. That's, that's odd. It's, Can I bring this back? Can I? Yeah. Should I bring this back? Okay. Uh, you might bring it back out here and ask them. Yeah. You know, uh, that's what I would do. Yeah. Why do you think we cremate anybody? Doesn't that seem so weird? Why are we doing that? Uh, it's it's uh, uh, a lot of different cultures do it. I mean, the Indians do uh, the that Indians? kind of stuff. They, yeah, American Indians used to put their loved ones up on a uh, home-built thing and light fires underneath them. And, when they were uh, dead or alive? No, when they were dead. Oh, when they were dead. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was close. Okay, so, oh, God, I feel sick. All right, I guess, can I send you and. Can I send you a picture of this? Maybe that would be. Maybe I'll send. Can I send you a picture of the urn? Uh, we don't. This is a land-based phone, and it's. Oh. Not gonna, I can't send a picture to it. No, not on the land. Not on the landline. All right. Okay. So you recommend I tell my daughter that it was ashtray ashes, uh, and that I just suck it up in the vacuum. Come up with off, yeah. And okay. That's the only thing I can come up off the top of my head. If this is a person, sir, can we just pause and have just a moment of silence, please? I, I'm as a religious person. I don't know if you believe in Jesus, but I feel like this is a moment where we need to just pause and say, "Dear God, thank you for this moment." And what was your name, sir? Uh, Damon. Damon, please allow Damon, myself, Michelle. I'm Michelle Smithsonian. Please allow us today to have this moment and give peace and rest to the individual who possibly was cremated. Perhaps they were Native American, they may have been Indian, and possibly in the floor of my carpet. And I will bring this urn back. I'll bring the physical urn back, but I'm going to suck up the ashes. I'm going to go suck up the ashes right now, Damon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> After the second suck up the ashes, <laughs> he was like, I'm out. I think we can cut that out. That might be good. Oh, that's no, that was perfect. I th you think that's good? <laughs> yeah, there's something about, like, you're just being, like, so... You think so, that's good? You're being so, like, tender and, like, I'm so worried. And he's like, it's fucking garbage. Just yeah. vacuum it up. <laughs> it came like, from an ashtray. My name's Damon. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell your daughter that whoever's dead deserved to die. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Yeah, yeah very small. Well. I like when I was like, you burn them alive? <laughs> what kind of Indian is this? <laughs> and I like how he said Indians, and then he said Native Americans. Yeah. He quickly realized that Michelle Smithsonian was progressive. Yeah. <laughs> is that yes. my earbud? Yeah. Cool. All that right. was a fun one. That was really That nice. was good? Shout yeah. out to Damon. Are you Thanks. sure? Shout out to Damon. I enjoyed it. Was it as good as the last one? That was Drew, I just feel like you're one of those people <laughs> that are just kind to women regardless if they're funny or not. Don't say it. He's never nice no? to women. Well, that's the nicest thing that's ever been said. Really? Yeah. I feel like maybe I'm... I feel like of all the women in comedy right now, just in our little neighborhood of community, in terms of, like, funniest women... I think you're probably in the top three. It's me, James, and whoever's going for third, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, this is NBA superfan Burt Killington. Uh, I've been at every game for the past two years uh, in every different city. Uh, well, not every single game all at once. That'd be a little crazy. You know, I don't <laughs> even know how someone could do such a thing. Um, I want to come down there and sing the national anthem for you guys. Um, what's the What's the schedule like of the Hall of Fame? Um, so we're open every day except for Mondays, 10 to 4 in the summer is when we start opening up on Mondays. Um, and it's just, like, people come in and out throughout the day. All right. And, like, where can I post up and sing the national anthem for a few hours? Because I just really want to give back to the sport. The sport of basketball has done so much for me. And I've, I've watched countless layups, jump shots, 
passes, the chest pass, oh my, you've seen them. You know what a chest pass looks like. They're unbelievable, and especially at the NBA level. And I really just want to come back and give thanks in the Hall of Fame and uh, just sing the national anthem. Yeah, so I'm not sure if they would, excuse me, do something like that, only because it's just like an all-day thing, just having it open. Well, I'll sing it all day. I can, I, yeah, I can transfer you um, to one of our people upstairs, but they aren't in today because it's the weekend, but they'll get mm-hmm. back to you, like, by Tuesday, um, well, just because Tuesday- they'd be able to best help you. Um just because we're closed on Mondays and they're not in on the weekend. Yeah. So they would be able to get back to you um, by Tuesday. Um, I can transfer. So I, I understand. can give you the email, and then I can also transfer you up to them if you want to, like, leave a voicemail. Yeah, no, I I mean, I think if you hear me sing it, you'll be blown away. and just Because I'll, I'll be there on Tuesday. Um, I mean, just for an example. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died and gave that right to me. And I proudly stand up next to you. I'm just going to come and do that for a few hours in the NBA Hall of Fame. Um, I'm not, I mean, I don't think they'll, I mean, that's up to you, but I'm not sure if they'll ask, like, I'm not sure if you have to, like, tell someone that you're going to be doing it. That's why I was just letting you know I'd transfer you up to someone. Yeah, um, I mean, they'll find so out when I'm there. But, like, I, and if if they don't want me singing the anthem, I can I can be normal at times. I'm not always, like, a national anthem guy. I can enjoy the sights. I'll I'll walk up to the Jason Kidd thing and rub his head, and uh, I'll just, like, maybe I'll – I just want to smell Shaquille O'Neal's shoe as well, if that's still there. Um, this, so the shoes are all in cases and whatnot. Can you open one up so I can sniff it? Unfortunately not. Uh, have you ever done it? No. You ever smell anyone's shoe in there? No, I have not. That's crazy. That's all I'd be doing. All right. Well, uh, so you, you said you are open Tuesday, correct? Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll be there on Tuesday. I'll be singing the national anthem, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, just make sure you get a ticket. Oh, well, yeah, I can't. Is there a back door in case I wanted to sneak in? Unfortunately not. You sound like you know about a secret entrance. I don't. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to say... I didn't know where I was going with that, but... <laughs> That was you really have a beautiful voice. You know that? Thank you. That got me feeling patriotic. Yeah, I almost did stand up in the middle of that. I saw an eagle fly by the window <laughs> while you were doing that. I actually uh, transformed into an eagle halfway through, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I have to leave in like 20 minutes. 20 Do another minutes. one, dude. Yeah, yeah another, let me do another one. Do another telephone I want to do call. one where I sing. I feel yeah. <laughs> Thank you for calling Kirkabon Edmund. Hi, I was there for a work lunch last Thursday, and it was someone's birthday in my work office, and you guys came out, as you do, and sang happy birthday to them. Yeah. Um, however, I need, to, I need to complain to the manager or something about the version of the happy birthday you sang. Let's uh, hang on just a okay. second. Let me have you talk to him. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, hey. Thank you for calling Taco Bell. How can I help you? Hi. My friends and I are coming in for a lunch, for a birthday lunch next week. And I was wondering if y'all do a thing where you sing happy birthday when they come out and sing happy birthday to them. Uh, Let me ask for them. Okay. Jesus. Keep getting transferred. You still there, Miss? I am still here. Uh, I'm, my name is Emily. My name Emily? is Emily. Emily, okay. Um, Emily, um, well, unfortunately, we don't do anything oh, no. like that, but we do give like a little free dessert or anything like that when it's your birthday. Okay, like what kind of free dessert? I believe it would be like a pie of your choice. A like pie? Or something. 
Okay, I have a crazy question, Favor, and please tell me if this is not okay. I completely understand, completely. But my friend who's celebrating a birthday loves the Stevie Wonder version of that song. And I was wondering if it's possible if I could bring in, like, a couple of instruments and play that and sing that for their birthday. Do you know what version I'm talking about? The one that's like, happy birthday to you. It's got, like, yeah. a whole yeah, I love uh, that let version. Me, um, let me that ask better than the other one. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, give me one second. Okay. They can all bounce and show me what I'm missing. Yeah. You keep getting raped in other locations. <laughs> this is Shannon. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Hello? Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. I was just singing the Stevie Wonder Happy Birthday song with my friends. We were calling to see if we could bring we're having a lunch there next week mm -hmm. and we're it's my very good friend's birthday and her favorite version of happy birthday is the stevie wonder version oh okay and we would love to just come in and bring some instruments and play that for them the last person i spoke to who was so sweet <laughs> she told me you did not allow or you didn't it wasn't that you didn't allow so much as you didn't actually sing happy birthday but gave them like a free dessert is it possible that we can just yeah we do have uh, yeah minutes? we do have free dessert but let me get you with the restaurant manager oh yeah, gosh but can, and maybe he can maybe do something you know you. what i know do you know what version of a happy birthday i'm talking about the stevie wonder one it's i don't so good it goes like this happy birthday oh yes i do Happy birthday to you. And it's, like, got a little share at the end right. almost. That's so good. And my friend's going to be 22, and it's, like, her favorite birthday song. Okay, let me get you with the restaurant manager. Hold okay, on. thank you so yeah. much. So stupid. But is it, like, people going to think it's funny, or are we just idiots? Oh, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thanks, all crack, bro. Hello, this is, this is Michelle. I'm dead. I could not stop you at all. You told me. It's always the fifth transfer where they get you. <laughs> it's crazy to just start Stevie Wonder happy birthday mid-sentence when a guy gets back oh on the phone. This, this is Michelle. <laughs> I couldn't fucking pull it together. Should we call back? <laughs> yeah, I, think, yeah, I think we got disconnected. If, oh, shit. You have, you to call there's back? no chance you will ever talk to that guy again. I cannot fucking handle you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say I could not fucking... I was like, oh, I'm going to either throw up or, or not sing happy birthday. That's Those are my options. The voice you do where you're trying to, like, over-polite phone <laughs> ladies, like, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, you guys, thank you so much. You're the best. I can't stand and it. She's 22. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shopping here in Forever 21, and I was like, what would be a great idea? <laughs> Singing happy birthday to my black friend. <laughs> <laughs> the Stevie Wonder version. <laughs> All right, you guys. What a time. Hey, that was pretty funny. That, that was, was a good time. That was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I hope my tits look good in that. Guys? What do we think? Oh, in the comments. What? Actually, never yeah. mind. No. Well, we'll do a poll. Yeah, do a poll. On a, on I a am half Polish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the comments, on a scale from A plus to triple S plus, <laughs> how great are Betty's tits? Write in. Let us know. Listen, that, I know that they're pretty dense. Like a dense, but, like a racquetball. <laughs> yeah, the the mammo grammo <laughs> results extremely couple, dense breasts. Nice, a couple extremely. cue balls there. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty. Corner pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty dense, um, but that doesn't make them better. Or worse than anyone else's. Are yeah. they buoyant? Do they have buoyancy? I mean, they're four. I'm 44. Nice. I think they look pretty good for a 44 year old. Oh, that's your age. I thought that was your tit size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't dude. Know how these things work. It's both. <laughs>
Am I right? Oh, 44 is nice. Uh, yeah, 40, yeah, those must be good. I'm sorry. I was born in 1944. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Dave, who's the person you're speaking to today? Dave, you've got Jack Tsunami on the phone. How are you doing, buddy? Doing good, and you? Man, I'm doing just fine. I, uh, I'm going to be staying up there here shortly. I had a couple quick questions for you. This is, uh, this is Jack uh, Tsunami. Are you, uh, is your pool open for the season yet? I believe so. Here, let me let me just check on this for you here real quick, all right? Okay. Yeah, because I mean that's. Yeah, a... I'm. I'm. I'm... Mm-hmm. Let me check on this here for you. One moment. Okay. Because I I need uh, full pool access, so I'm, I'll I'll let you know what I got going on. But go ahead and confirm that it's that it's wide open for me. Um. It's open year round, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. 6 a.m. to okay, cool. Those, those hours are great. Um, perfect. So uh, this is uh, like like I said, I'm I'm Jack Tsunami. You probably saw me on uh, on uh, TV. I'm one of the highest ranked jet skiers in the in the county, actually. Um, so so okay. what I'm doing is uh, I I do a tour around the uh, all the all the hotels around. I'm gonna be bringing my jet ski uh, into the hotel, and I'm gonna be doing flips in the pool all day in my uh, okay, in my in my jet ski, the Yamaha. Okay, I'm, no, I'm not actually at the property here. One moment. Let me get this. So you'll be bringing your jet skis. No, I'm I'm not there right now, but I'm going to be there. Yeah, so I'm going to be putting my jet ski into the pool. Uh, so you're going to need to clear it out. I mean, you're probably going to want to have some, like, stadium seats set up on the side because there is going to be people that want to see what I do. I mean, this is Let, let me get you over to the me. property, sir. No, well, so, let me get you to the property here, sir. No, I'm not trying to go uh, there I'm right now. I need to get to the front desk. No, 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 no I'm not. I need to get you to the front desk. For no, I'm not. Approval, though. Oh, there's no it, approval won't be necessary. It's it's just, it's already underway. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing my jet ski. Okay. Uh, I am also gonna be putting a dolphin into the water. So there'll be it's a dolphin part, in the pool. Okay. Yeah, that's it's part of the show. Yes, sir. Okay. He's trained. Marvin is his name. Okay. We kind of coordinate, like flips. I'll do a flip. I'll juggle. You've seen it before on television. Uh, I'm not in Oklahoma, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm not in Oklahoma, sir. I'm not. I'm at the national office. I'm not actually on property. Oh, you you like work remote? Are you in a pool right now? That's cool. No, I'm not. I'm at the national reservation office. I'm not, but I'm not. I'm not at the property. I'm not. Oh, okay. My, my mistake. Sorry. My hearing's not great. You know, jet skis are loud. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, I I'll just notes on your reservation. I can make yeah, I would definitely. Yeah, I would definitely have have the notes on there that I'm going to be. I need like two two rooms, one for me and the dolphin, one for the Yamaha jet ski. Um, I'll I'll just come down there tomorrow. I'll tell them I, I cleared it with you and that everything's good. Um, so I'll be there at like 6 a.m. Uh, you have both rooms ready. Um, I would have a tank in the room for the dolphin. Otherwise, like he's going to be just slipping around in the tub. That was ugly at the Hilton last week, I tell you. He got into the mini bar, too. What, what's your confirmation number, sir? Damn, Dolphin drank all the Captain Morgans. Never seen anything like it. But uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow, um, and I'll be I'll be in the water. I mean, flippers on. Okay, sir. All right, perfect. Uh, you've been very helpful. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh, unbelievable. Well, I'm Jessica Theatrics. How can I help you? Hey, I have a couple questions. Um, I So I ate a turkey that was a little undercooked a couple weeks ago. And uh, ever since then, I've been having nonstop dreams about the things. They're all I see when I close my eyes. Is that something you guys get a lot? Let me go ask. Okay. Hey, what was your name again? Uh, Dr. Mott. Hey, Dr. Mott. Uh, I I was speaking to your assistant there. Um, so uh-huh. I, my my problem right now is I ate a turkey a couple weeks ago, um, Thanksgiving bird. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And it was a little bit undercooked when I ate it. 
And uh, now every time I go to sleep, they're all that I dream about. I Every time I close my eyes, I'm just hearing gobbles and uh-huh. um, it's they're, they're all that's on my mind is turkey. Huh, okay. Is this something um, you guys deal with a lot? Uh, it is not, no. Um, now, are you – how old are you, sir? Twelve. You're twelve? Okay. Um, My mom's not home, so I didn't know who to call. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not something we typically deal with. Um, like, like I would say this is probably the first time I've ever heard of anything like this. Um, yeah, internal temp was 115. I know it's supposed to be 165, but I was hungry. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm not really sure. I mean, if you're having any any like other symptoms or anything like that, I mean, you no, can, you can come on I, in or. I feel fine. I just every time I close my eyes, it's just it's just overrun with turkey. I can't mm-hmm. seem to I can't seem to get them off my mind. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, but I mean, is there you, like a medicine or? A... Uh, well, I mean, so I can't give medical advice over the phone, and so if it's something that you're concerned about, then I would come on in. Okay. Should I bring a lawyer? Or... Probably uh, not. Probably not. I should. Just, yeah. No. I'm sorry. No. As a twelve-year-old. I, I get scared sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you're twelve years old? Yeah. Well, I'll be thirteen next month. Okay. All right, well, I, if it's something that you're really concerned about, then I'll tell your parents and, and bring you in, okay? Okay, thank you, Dr. Mott. Uh-huh, you're welcome. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Did he question your authenticity? Of course I'm 12, dude. <laughs> Do I not sound 12 to you? You sound like you're about to be 13. <laughs> I'm this many. <laughs> I'm this many. <laughs> you should have hit him with it. Well, I'm, oh, I'm, sure. I'm 12 and a half. I should have done on this one. <laughs> I can't get the things off my brain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just like I know the internal temp was supposed to be 165, <laughs> but I was hungry. <laughs> like knowing about bacteria. Like being like, I'm starving. <laughs> I can't wait for this full bird to be ready. It's not worth it. Just give me the fucking bird. <laughs> Parcels to this is Jim. How may I help you? Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm okay. Hey, uh, I was looking online. I saw you guys do, uh, like, document shredding. Is that right? We Well, we don't do it on site. We weigh it here. We have a company that comes and picks it up. We do put the shredded, um, the shredding um, that you bring in, it is in, it's put into secure bins. They're large, like, like large trash cans that are locked. So okay. Once you bring it in, we weigh it. You pay us. It's ninety nine cents per pound. We um, let you see. I mean, you're welcome to see us put it in the secure bins. But we do that. And then, okay. like I say, a, a company comes by and, and picks it up. It is shredded off site. But it's shredded off site. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe you can help me. So this is kind of an unusual request. I don't really have documents. I'm looking for a shredding service. I don't know if you shred other stuff. My. Uh, I've been getting into it with my stepdad recently. We've been having some scuffles. He's been a real piece of shit. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to get back at him. I it's gonna sound weird, but I'm trying to find a place that will shred his uh, his koi fish. He's like a prized fish, and I'm trying to Oof. to see if you mm. can shred that to sm- to smithereens, perhaps. Um, gosh, I, I my suggestion would be to maybe to go to some kind of meat market and let them cut it up. But. I tried that. They gave me your number. Um, they said it could. They said <laughs> shredding like, a koi fish. That they said that would be more up your alley. Um, no. I know it sounds it sounds yeah. funny, but I'm like, he's he, I, my stepdad's been a huge piece of shit. Uh, yeah. Basically, like he he was like saying that I'm stupid. He was like, yeah. maybe we should enroll the fish into school. He'll probably get better grades than you. I was like, I okay. I hear you. I hear you. So is, is your there, yeah? Uh, go ahead. We would not, no, we wouldn't be. I, I, I mean, you said 99 cents, what, a pound? This thing probably weighs less than a nickel, so I don't, but I'll I'll pay, you know, like pretty well if you'll just send this thing to fish hell, you know what I mean? Well, I, 
No, we, I'm sorry. We, I'd love to help you, but we, we're not in that business. I just, it's just document trading that we do. So We can make this work. I mean, it won't be a problem. I'll come down there. The fish will be in a bag. I'll throw it to you. You'll do the dirty work. That's simply how it's going to go down. Well, I mean, I can just dispose of the fish in the in the dumpster through, out back. I mean, through the I, shredding. No, it has. I I need to know that all of the pieces of this fish have been. My stepdad. I mean, you wouldn't believe the things he's. Uh, I. Yeah. Whenever my mom is out of the room, he'll like do the air honking, like as if to say, like I'm grabbing your mom's boobs. Ha ha! It's disrespectful, and I want to. Oh, wow. I I just want to destroy his fish. It's all I've ever wanted. So, uh, let's see. So what? I'm just trying to understand what. Why yeah. do you need? Do you need the pieces back? What I don't. Do you, I, I guess I'm trying to understand why just disposing of the fish wouldn't be sufficient. It's not enough. I want I want to tell him I'm writing a song about how I took his fish to a shredding company, and the song's already written, and I don't want to change the lyrics now. So. Well, you I mean you can bring it to us, um, and we I I can't shred the fish. I can I can dispose of it in the dump strap back. I can't. And the only way I can the only way I could do it would be to cut it up, and I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Is it like it's like part of your contract that you can't like shred a fish? Yeah, well, we just yeah. don't have the we don't have the ability to do that. You think our if shredders, you put it? Yeah, our shredders. Like I said, we have in-house shredders, but they're for small documents. We have the company that comes and shreds the shreds the fish. Um, they would shred know, the fish. Yeah, I mean they would they would shred the fish. They would they, shred the I fish. Mean, I mean it's. If you're shredding like small documents, this fish is it's a it's a koi fish. I don't know if I said that. It's like from like Germany or something. Right. All right, so I'll bring it tomorrow and then we'll you know we'll figure something out. Uh, we're not open on Sundays, but you could bring it Monday. Okay, perfect. Right. Um, Monday at uh, six a.m. I'll be there, uh, fish in hand, and uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, we're not open till eight thirty in the morning. Eight thirty to six are Monday, Monday through Friday. Oof. Okay. Um, okay. Then I'll come at like 11 p.m. Uh, I will. I'll see you on uh, Monday. Uh, I'll. Uh, it, you've been very helpful. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Goodbye. Yeah, it was about as helpful as you can get. I mean, he's like, I can't shred it, but I'll kill the fish. You yeah, he's I mean? like, I got a hammer. Is that what you want? Is that really what he said? What? No. But he. <laughs> he went out for a second, but he was like, yeah, the whole time he was like. He was. It was like, have you tried the animal market, like a meat market? That was like, a mafia guy for sure. He's like, they sent me to you. They were, <laughs> they were like, Rob told me. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Damn, that guy was as helpful as you could be. He's like, I want to understand more. He's like, why is it? That's what made me laugh. You're like, he called me stupid. <laughs> <laughs> also, his big hang up wasn't that like what I'm doing is preposterous. He was never like that's unreasonable. He was just like, we just don't do it in house. Like, we have another company yeah, yeah, yeah. that they come, so they'll be the ones that shred your fish. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't doing it here, brother. He said the words shred your fish probably 70 <laughs> times in the call. That try was awesome. A, try to put a koi fish through the... <laughs> through the file shredder. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. Yep. Puppet Go, how can I help you? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Good. Huh? Um... Hey, you guys uh, do the puppet shows there, correct? Yes, you do. Are you taking donations of old puppets by chance? Um, we could, yes. Do you have an old puppet that you want to donate? Yeah, I have a voodoo doll of myself. And Do you guys do, like, aggressive puppet shows? Anything like... I um, mean, we are a children's theater, but we do have late night... Ad we, we, we have late night events for adults, so... Yeah? Yeah. Theoretically... I have a voodoo doll of myself, and I'm just not happy with the person I've become. Can you just have somebody there throw it at the wall and piss on it and stomp it out? And I don't think that is a thing that we offer. Not the kids, obviously, the adults. Yes, 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 obviously. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we. I, let me talk to my supervisor, but I don't think that we provide this. Is, is the supervisor in there today? Uh, yeah, she is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, call me back in 30 minutes, and I'll give you an answer. Well, 
I don't know. I just want to get somebody you, you, get you the want puppet. Get and, the puppet? No, it's what's well, a voodoo doll, and I just want somebody to really just beat the hell out of it for me, and uh, maybe I'll feel something again. Uh huh. Just throw me at the wall and put me in an ass and have dogs bite at me. Just waterboard me with milk. I don't care anymore. Um, you can do that if they're not comfortable doing it themselves. Can you give me one second, sir? Okay. So, I just talked to my supervisor. Um, we have no one on staff here who feels comfortable participating in voodoo and voodoo because that is a close practice. If you want like to have a longer conversation about that, we can. But as of right now, we don't really have anyone who feels comfortable representing that community. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'll find somebody else. I really just want to put that thing in a pitching machine and launch it at a baseball bat and see if somebody can put it into the fifth row or something. You know what I mean? No foul yeah, balls. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that. Time, times be like that sometimes. Yeah, I just, I'd like my voodoo doll to just be sitting on sharp glass and maybe next to a heater, just real uncomfortable, condensating all over it. Well, thank you. You've been real helpful. <laughs> thank you. I, I, I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Goodbye. And to just end it with a thanks, you've been helpful. <laughs> She's like, all right, cool, later. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what we're doing with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> we might have had some illegal ones today. <laughs> I don't think it's illegal. to. That, <laughs> that's the excuse for self-harm. You can't be like, I'm just going to go fucking hurt myself. Lady, I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it <laughs> to me. You're going to do it to the doll. <laughs> to the doll. <laughs> Just fucking bite the legs off my doll. Just throw it in a tank with sharks and just see what just fucking happens. Treat him like one of fucking Sid's toys. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to cut my legs off and put spider just legs on put my Put the <laughs> magnifying glass to my fucking forehead <laughs> under the sun. Just microwave me. <laughs> just so I'll feel something. <laughs> just because the light has left my life. <laughs> God damn. That that's it. that's how we end this bitch. Yeah, that's how we do it, dude. Um good stuff. Betty. Good stuff. Betty, good job. <laughs> Dense as ever. Uh thank you for watching. Uh we got uh some special calls we did that won't be in any episodes. Those are gonna be in the page when that la uh launches. So keep page your eye out. Coming. Keep your eye out for that. Um Digi Bazookies, God bless you all. Peace.